Okay, here we are on the classwork for 1.8. Goal for today is to do 1 through 4. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then skip over to question 6. So you have to actually like skip a whole page. Okay, so we're going to talk about 1 through 4 are all very similar. Where it says, write an equation that will model the proportional relationship given in each real world situation. So, in number one, it says there are three cans that store nine tennis, ball, tennis balls. Um, consider the number of balls per can. Okay, this is the important part. So, this is telling us the y over x. So, y would be the tennis balls. And then the x would be cans. So when we go to find our k, that means we are doing 9 over 3, which would be 3 over 1, which equals 3. Remember, it's asking here for the constant of proportionality, which sometimes means that we really want to just get down to that one number. Okay, write an equation, and then using your, using your equation, important parts, Okay, so that's one, two, three, and four. Um, sometimes number four, we get a little, you know, a little tricky here. It says it costs five dollars to send six packages through a certain shipping company. Consider the number of packages per dollar. Okay, so again, why would be the packages? All right, which is really different. Then what we talk about is we always talk about how money goes on top. But when they give you a certain situation, you just have to go with it. Okay, so this one's a little different than number three. In number three, the money would be the Y. And the X would be the pound. Okay? So that's the first page. Skip the second page. Go down to number six. And at number six here, um, I know it's long, but it walks you through each part. And this is just like the quiz we took recently. You know, they give you the graph, they give you the table. Are they proportional? Which means you're checking the constant. Write an equation, write an equation. Okay, um, and then use the equation. Part D here, um, part D here, you're going to kind of have to use a little guess and check, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, but it happens sometimes. All right, and then other than that, you're using your equation. Okay, so that's all I'll do for now. Um, if you need more help, you can always come to office hours or send me an email.